Hey everyone, I'm really excited about today's video because uh, I've been really passionate over the last few years about the crisis we have going on in Tucson and Pima County with dogs and our shelters and it's just hit a point where it's beyond saddening and I wanted to take action on it and I'm lucky enough to know Amy Kubias uh, of the Sanctuary Project. We've been friends since high school and I reached out to her and I wanted to give her the opportunity to share with our community about her amazing organization and how we could possibly help all of these babies uh, here in, in Southern Arizona. So without further ado, Amy, introduce yourself and tell us about Sanctuary Project. So I am Amy Kibias. I am uh, the founder and the chief dog cuddler for us. <laughs> We've been around for 13 years. My sister and I, my younger sister, um, who also is a Lancer, um, we just decided about 13 years ago that we couldn't sit on the sidelines anymore. And it wasn't that we had, you know, animal backgrounds or anything like that as far as, you know, working with Animal Warfare. We just knew that we had to do something. And so that's kind of how the Sanctuary Project was born. Um, and so we are a 501c3. We are in primarily based in Tucson, but we have outreach in Phoenix and Vegas and Los Angeles, and we're all foster based. So all of our families um, home, oop, they home these babies until we can rehabilitate them and find them the best match um, for their future. So uh, the need is incredibly intense right now. I think post COVID, we're seeing waves and waves of so many dogs that are being discarded at shelters and shelters are overwhelmed and they don't know what to do and they don't have places for them and so that's like this little girl um she would have been killed at a really small rural shelter last week and now she's with us so, that's amazing yeah. <laughs> and she is a perfect little little girl <laughs> she's really sweet she's still a little shy but she's lovely so what are the ways people can help the sanctuary project and help this huge problem that we're facing in southern arizona um, I think the biggest thing is to really assess what you and your family might be able to do to help. Um, and so that looks like something different for everybody, um, whether that is fostering, whether that is adopting another dog. If you have the capability to responsibly home and love another life, now would be a really awesome time to do that. Um, just because there are so many dogs that it's not a matter of waiting, it's a matter of, you know, really good dogs are being killed, not for behavioral reasons, but for um, just a lack of space. So um, another huge thing is sharing. Social media is amazing because um, if you see a dog that kind of resonates with you, pick that profile and don't stop until that dog finds home. <laughs> like right. we have a wonderful family on the east side and she did it with this dog. She was not going to stop until we had a plan for her. Um, so it doesn't maybe necessarily mean that you take that dog in, but it just means I'm going to do what, what I can to help a life or to help a rescue or to help a shelter, whether that's supplies or, um, it, you know, anything, whether that's food or blankets or, um, just calling and saying the other thing is encouragement, right? <laughs> Everybody's so beat down. So just saying, you know, what can we do? Um, what, what can we do to, to help? kind of provide backup support right now. That would be huge for a lot of rescues. There are many rescues in Tucson that do a tremendous job. And so figuring out what your niche is and where you where you feel like you can have impact. That's awesome. And how can people find you, you know, a website, social media, contact? How can people contact the Sanctuary Project? Um, so our website is thesanctuaryprojectlove.com. Our Facebook is the sanctuary, or the, at the Sanctuary Project. Our Instagram is at Sanctuary Project Pro, um, and, or it's actually Sanctuary Pro okay. Project. Um, but if you type it in, you can find us. Um, and then we are launching, um, a, well, we've started a YouTube channel, and we'll have a lot of instructional videos and, and just really neat dog stories that we're going to start sharing on there as well. So on YouTube, you can just type in the Sanctuary Project, and we'll pop up. Right. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And this girl is up for adoption. So if anyone, her name is Carly? Yes, Carly. this is Carly girl. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
Carly is about seven months old and she's a black lab mix and she's an avid swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> she loves, loves the pool. So um, she's a little bit shy still, but we'll get her through that. Um, but she's definitely available for adoption now and summer would be so much more fun with oh, her. That is awesome. Sure. Yeah. Well, we look forward to uh, working with you all and we will be doing like a dog of the week and we're going to start really trying to get involved in constantly post new dogs uh, every week that are in need and try and help out as best as we can. And I encourage everyone else to do the same. So thank you so much, Amy, for taking the time to do this with us. Thank you. We love your gym. We love your community. So we're super blessed by this. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.